Hey everybody, Darren Burrows here. Today I wanna to walk you through how to make $5,000 a month in passive income. Passive income always sounds ideal on the surface. After all, it's income that is made without the need to do a large amount of ongoing work. It seems to promise a life where you have the freedom to do whatever you please, such as spending time with your family and friends and focusing your energy on the things that bring you joy in life. Meanwhile, the money required to support your lifestyle is quietly being generated in the background. However, I think a lot of people miss the fact that although there isn't a lot of ongoing work required to make passive income, in the vast majority of cases, there will be upfront work required. I also need to point out that generating passive income isn't a one size fits all solution. There are many ways to go about it. What works for your friend may not work so well for you, given your unique skill set and risk tolerance. So today I'll be diving into five different ideas on how you can earn passive income, the amount of money you'll need to invest into each one, and the rate of return you'll need to make $5,000 per month. Before we get into it, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. There are probably 5,000 ways you could attempt to earn $5,000 a month in passive income, but for now, let's focus on five. We're gonna go from what I would say is the worst to first strategy, so stick around to the end of this video to see what my number one suggestion is. The number five way to earn passive income is buying GICs. A guaranteed investment certificate known as a GIC is a deposit investment sold by Canadian banks and trust companies. People often purchase them for retirement plans because they provide a low risk fixed rate of return and many are insured by the Canadian government. To earn passive income using GICs, you'll need to deposit money in a bank account for a fixed length of time. As time passes, you'll receive interest on that money and your principal will be returned to you when the investment matures. For example, EQ Bank is offering a 1.7% interest rate on their five-year CDIC insured GICs. This means you'll need to invest around $3,530,000 in this GIC to earn $5,000 per month in passive income. There are three major downsides to this. The first is that GICs, as I just mentioned, don't pay out monthly interest so you'll get your funds back in a lump sum payment at the end. The second major downside is you need $3.53 million to make $5,000 a month in passive income. And the third downside is that GICs are generally paying out rates close to inflation. So even though your money is growing at 1.7% per year, so are the costs of goods every year. So you're basically breaking even. Oh, and there's one more thing. The bank takes your money in and pays you 1.7% interest and then they loan your money out for a higher rate. And this is why Canadian banks are especially profitable and why my good friend Alfonso calls them sneaky bastards. The number four way to make passive income is annuities. Annuities are essentially insurance contracts. You pay a set amount of money today or over time in exchange for a lump sum payment or a stream of income in the future. The type of annuity and the details of the particular annuity can determine the payouts you'll receive. Annuities are primarily used as an income stream for retirees who do not want to deal with the risk of outliving their savings. An example of an annuity is a life insurance policy. Let's use some basic numbers for our example. If you were to buy a $1 million annuity, it would pay out approximately $5,000 per month. The good news is that money can be at a fixed rate, so you'll always receive $5,000 a month, no matter what the money or real estate markets are doing. The bad news is that if you die after three years of purchasing that annuity, the insurance company keeps what's left of your $1 million. And most have an expiry date as well. So if you buy at 65, the policy will usually expire 25 years later at 90. So if you live beyond that, you won't get that payment anymore, Grandpa. The number three idea on how to generate passive income is investing in ETFs. An exchange traded fund, also known as an ETF, is a type of investment that involves a collection of securities such as stocks. They often track an underlying index, ETF shares are listed on stock exchanges, and they can be traded throughout the day just like any ordinary stock. To earn passive income using ETFs, you'll need to invest money to buy ETF shares. If you own a stock ETF that tracks an underlying index, your returns can come from a combination of capital gains, which is an increase in the price of the stocks your ETF owns, and dividends paid out by those same stocks. For example, a well-known ETF is the SPDR S&P 500 ETF, which tracks, you guessed it, the S&P 500. The S&P 500 index has a historical average annual return of around 7.96% since 1957 when the index adapted its current format through to the end of 2018. Therefore, assuming the S&P index earns a 7.96% annual return, you'll need to invest about 754,000 in this ETF to earn $5,000 per month in passive income. The number two source of passive income is rental properties. 
There are two types of rental properties, residential rental properties and commercial rental properties. Residential rental properties refer to homes that are purchased by an investor and inhabited by tenants on a lease or another type of rental agreement. They can range from standalone single family dwellings to large multi-unit apartment buildings. On the other hand, commercial rental properties are leased out to businesses. These properties are zoned explicitly for profit generation. To earn passive income from rental properties, you'll need to become a landlord, which means you'll need to buy a property and enter into a lease agreement with your tenants. The tenants in turn will then make regular rent payments to you as the landlord. To learn all about buying your first rental property, check out this video right here. The returns from rental properties can come from four different sources cash flow, mortgage pay down, market appreciation, and forced appreciation. But only one of these categories provides monthly passive income, and that's cash flow. The amount of cash flow you can expect from your rental properties is dependent on a variety of factors, including the type of rental property, its location, and what is happening in the local rental market. For example, let's say you're investing in three bedroom houses in Hamilton, Ontario. This type of property rents out for about $1,650 a month, and the purchase price is about $450,000. So you'd need to own three of these houses free and clear to earn $5,000 a month in passive income. Now, I'm not a big fan of owning things outright, especially with interest rates where they are today. You can finance a property, but then you'll need to make sure that your rents add up to more than all of your expenses. If you're wondering how to calculate positive cash flow, check out this video right here. A typical property in my portfolio has about $500 in positive cash flow per month. So you'll need 10 of those properties to earn $5,000 a month. That can sound daunting if you're just getting started, but there are so many strategies that you can use to build your portfolio over time using the same money over and over again, such as wholesaling, flipping, house hacking, and burring. And if you're not sure what any of those things are, I'll leave a link in the description below to those strategies. And my number one pick for earning passive income is through private mortgage lending. Private mortgages are generally short-term interest-only loans that usually range from one to three years in length. People usually seek out private mortgages if they're being turned down by prime lenders or banks. They are usually turned down because they're trying to purchase an unconventional property, they have a bad credit history, or if their income cannot be confirmed. Because private mortgage lenders need to be compensated for the additional risk they're taking on when lending money to folks who are facing these adverse circumstances, they're able to charge interest rates that are typically much higher than compared to that of prime lenders. Private mortgage interest rates typically range from 10 to 18% annually, depending on the property, the borrower, the current economic conditions, and what position the mortgage is in, which sounds way kinkier than it actually is. To earn passive income through private mortgage lending, you'll need to take the time to vet the deal and the borrower, and you'll need to have the money to lend to the borrower. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on private lending, check out my video right here. The great thing about private lending is you're acting as the bank and have the same rights as a bank has. So if a borrower doesn't pay you back, you have the option to force a power of sale on the property or impose penalties. A typical second mortgage can earn a 12% return. So you'll need to lend the borrower $500,000 in order to earn $60,000 per year or $5,000 per month in passive income. Now I know that somebody's going to inevitably call me out on the fact that the least amount of money required to earn $5,000 a month in passive income is half a million dollars. But this furthers my point. Reaching financial freedom isn't something that happens overnight for most of us. And the key to staying on track is being able to pinpoint how much money you need to have invested to earn enough passive income to support your lifestyle. It's also very important to look at your actual rate of return you're earning on your money as this can drastically reduce the amount of money necessary to earn your passive income goals. By following a prudent plan for your earning, borrowing, saving, and investing, your investments and passive income will grow over time and you will meet your financial goals. If you're inspired to start earning passive income, Make sure you hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave comments and questions below. I'd love to hear how you're earning passive income, so you can leave that in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenboros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate and investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.